Yes, so um, hello. What are we looking at this afternoon? Um, it's sli slightly off topic, but it's uh, Friday afternoon, and um, you know, what do they say? All work and no play. So let's have a look at some artificial intelligence. If that's not an oxymoron where I'm involved, but uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at a screen with some cats on and some red squares. Hmm. Right, let's, uh, let's start from the start, shall we? I'm looking at something called um, OpenCV, which is face recognition. And we're using it to detect cats, which apparently is um, hmm. I wouldn't say a secondary feature, but it is actually a feature of OpenCV. Now, from what I've read so far, face recognition requires training. Uh, or, or you, you have to kind of, a bit like on the voice recognition, where you have to read a few sentences before it understands your voice. Um, similar deal with this. So. Um, PyImageSearch.com uh, and there's something called Har Cascades which is basically a file of values, XML file uh, which I'm scrolling through here and that's a human has gone through and kind of taught the program what values will result in a cat's face a cat's faces are converted to grace get the photos are converted to grayscale and then um, they're scanned and the features are given scores anyway this is just a, a quick demo really it's not a tutorial because I don't really know enough about it and I'd be lying if I said I did so what are we gonna do we are going so these are ones I made earlier but you don't I could have cheated there so let's not bother with those shall we I'll just close these and um, let me do LS so I've downloaded cat face detector um, I've installed it on my machine I've installed OpenCV I made sure I installed it for Python 3 uh, let's just go through what I've done uh, yeah pip Three install OpenCV Python. Uh, right, let's go to the let's cut to the chase. You don't want to hear all the details, do you? That's for another day. Let's um, let's scan some cat photos, shall we? Uh, when I hmm, to be honest, it's Friday afternoon and I want to go for a walk, so I can't even be bothered. I haven't got the time. Uh, to do a nice video for you with all my usual graphics, sound effects, painstaking attention to detail and extreme high quality content. So, uh, whatever, just so I can get on with it with you. Right, let's go. Hey, <laughs> so, cat2, the photo, cat underscore zero two jpg, uh, we've found ourselves a cat, which is nice. Right, let's do another one some reason the program doesn't quit on me so uh, what one next number three why not let's go well, hey you found another cat we've got two cats this is getting good right so we think that the software's kind of working so what should we do next let's I don't know let's go for three cats see what we get yeah three we have three cats three nice little kitties Right, uh, next. Um, well, so I made this one and it's called cat dog. And I can assure you it's not some half hour script that's just looking at the name of the file. That would be a bit easy, wouldn't it? In fact, in a minute, I'm going to rename this to cat7. Just oh, bollocks, I don't know. Right, otherwise, you won't believe me, will you? You'll think I'm just some. Sheet. 
cat seven, uh, cat o seven, just to keep the same format, right? And cat underscore o seven, right? Let's go see what we find. <laughs> it's found a cat, but it's not found the dog. Well, it knows that. It knows this thing in the top is not a cat. So that's uh, that's looking pretty good. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, ah, let's yeah. I know what I was going to show. You. So let's just run uh, cat number six by itself. The imposter cat, and um, you know it's not a cat. I know it's not a cat, but does the computer know it's not a cat? I think we've kind of proven that already because um, of the one we just ran. But let's go anyway. No, no red square. So the computer knows it's not a cat. Um, yeah, pretty slap dash little tutorial for you on a Friday afternoon. Um, I'm hoping that. Let me, let me just show you the uh, thing again. So yeah, the, the serious point to this video is the fact that you can use um, OpenCV to detect cats' images. And the reason why it works is because somebody's gone through and created the, the it's called a, the Cat Detector Har Cascade. Please use the hard cascade that's provided and not the one in OpenCV's GitHub repository for compatibility purposes. So uh, this XML file has basically been taught what a cat's face looks like. If you use the one in GitHub, that's the base one and it's really only been written for humans. This kind of cat feature is what somebody has added on for our benefit and for our cat detection pleasure so yeah that's me over and out in the uh, uh, uh.